Hi everybody, Chris Adamo here from Balloons Online in Sydney, Australia. Quick little video I want to show you guys as a, a teaser, I guess it would, um, for some of the stuff we've been working on with the new Balloons Online design tool. Um, we've had lots of spare time <laughs> over the last few weeks and, uh, and I, I really appreciate a lot of the feedback you guys have sent me on, um, um, you know, on some of the extra stuff you want to see. So thank you for that feedback. Love it. Love people supporting the tool and it's uh, enabled us to almost double the, the functionality. So in this video, I'll quickly, I'll show you a couple of things that we've been working on. It's not live yet, um, but I couldn't wait showing you all. So let's get to it. Um, the first thing that we have here is the duplet square pack, which everybody's seen if you've used the tool. However, one of the features, one of the things that was sort of worrying a lot of people or just um, was a little bit frustrating was the fact that our diagonal lines were fixed on one axis. So essentially the way it works is our, our columns are vertical in this case, um, but what if we could split them on their, on their side, lean them 90 degrees. So what we've done here is just with one button, we've uh, turned all, everything 90 degrees and you see the way that the columns now present. And um, it just enables us to have a sharper curve, a, a sharper um, angle uh, from the vertical capacity. So depending on what sort of logo or shapes you're working on, perhaps it's a mountain scene and you want more jagged cliffs, um, you know, this is a better way to do it. So simply rotate 90 degrees you can see that also with the uh, alternate size pack. So if we were to add just a sample um, design here, and you can see, of course, as we explode it, they're all vertical columns, um, like so. But what if we wanted, for some reason, to, to use the, the angles, once again, just sort of showing you how angles can be represented, um, and the way that it, it clicks in. If we wanted it to work a different way, you, you click that, you rotate that now 90 degrees and have access to the columns um, vertically instead of horizontally for a different shape. Cool, so that's a quick one. Um, we, you've seen the columns before, we, that was in the last release last year, um, but we've added a lot to it. So if we were to quickly color it in, now you can also add a top balloon. Uh, we can inflate that to a few different sizes and subsequently deflate that. Um, the, uh, interestingly as well, we can inflate and deflate um, all of the balloons under it. So if you're working with a, a five inch column, so much thinner column, um, you can just quickly deflate everything and using this, what we call layer tightness field, you can reduce the, the gap or the distance between each layer to make that fit in. Uh, so, you know, we can have something much larger on a, on a thinner column. Um, something else which I'm really excited about it is the exploded model within the columns. So if we're working with a, a spiral, now we can um, not just color in the spiral as we, as we see it, as we guess it almost, we can explode it and color in the, the balloons in the back and so on. Cool, and bring that back. So now it's uh, the, the stock order is more complete. So let's look at the five balloon column. Once again, we have the exploded functionality. We have the top balloon functionality. We can resize everything. So let's give it some color. What if we wanted a five balloon rainbow swirl? So let's sort of, cool, is that right? Um, I think I did the front one, not the back, there it is. So if we want a rainbow swirl of sorts, Let's give it some color here. There we go. So previously we would just, as I said, color in the, the front, which meant the stock order was subtly off. So working off that, uh, maybe a, oops. So now we explode it, we can see um, the, the matrix of those colors. So now we can add our our fifth color, perhaps green, which is going to be next to the, uh, or that blue, blue should be next to the yellow. Blue, blue, blue. You can see how it works there. And now green would be this one here, the hidden one, which would be next to purple. So it takes a little bit more time, of course, but now we have a thorough and more complete way of, um, of coloring in our spirals. So we still have control of the layer tightness. So perhaps if you want to see how it just sort of 
pushes it all together. Maybe you the way you, you work your quads, you, you add it a little bit tighter. So that's a bit of fun. Um, now for my favorite um, addition to the tool is uh, lo and behold, organics. <laughs> so we can create um, a really super quick digital renders in organics using this tool now. So if I were to have yellow, I can add different sizes, right? And uh, 35 centimeters. So by the way, they're just guides, the, the, the sizing. We can also change that to imperial. Um, but back to metrics. So every time I add a balloon, you can see it adds two. So if I add 35 centimeters, and we're looking at that column, I add one, <clears throat> it adds two to the count. The reason being, of course, that they're all in pairs. There's a balloon behind the front. Now, what is cool about this is the random sizer. So I'll just create a new grid that's blank. Um, let's work with, say, a light blue. Click the random sizer button, and I literally just drag and drop, okay? So once again, drag across, and it'll create random sizes um, all the way through. So let's just sort of remove these ones in the middle here. So I don't know if anyone was counting, but we're probably up to about 30 seconds. Uh, remove, and now we've got a two-tone organic arch sort of on the way. Let's give it a bit more of a foundation here. All right, now you can you can tweak it. You can go back and you can remove, you know, there's too many balloons that randomly appeared here. Um, let's now remove the random sizer and start picking a, a few different sizes that we can add, you know, maybe a bit more texture down here or, or whatever, right? So already just looking at this, that is something you could send to your client. Um, you can export this, save it as a JPEG and all the rest of it. Um, you can also save it as a PNG file, which is down here, which uh, as we know in some of the past videos, PNG files um, uh, are vector images, so they can be superimposed over actual images of, of the location for your quote. So you can look at that later. We will go into much more detail on all of this functionality uh, once it's live. I'm hoping for it to be live in about two weeks, but I'll show you one more thing quickly about this. Um, the stock order that it does um, uh, uh, count up as we go is, is vague, okay? Don't use that as your complete stock order. It's a guide only, okay? Um, however, up in the calculator tools, which are all much the same, we have within the um, an organic calculator tool that we use in store. So this is pretty much our Excel spreadsheet um, digitized into a web-based application. So um, the example might be we have a organics like, like this one. It's two colors. We simply type two colors. We might know it's five meters linear garland. And it'll now tell you of those two colors, you need 23 balloons, 23 uh, 11 inch, uh, 23 40 centimeter and five um, three foots based on the, the average that we work with. Um, you can change it to you know, 10 meters of garland, three colors, one color. But if you have uh, multiple colors with a different percentage of each color, which is often the case. Uh, it might be 50% light blue, 30% dark blue, and 20% and white. So we click on the different tab here. So we can go, you know, 50%, uh, 30%, 20%. So uh, still with 10 meters, and it will tell you the breakdown per color. And a few yanks, once again, you've got your imperial option where you can click on for sizing and notice that's 32.8 uh, feet. So yeah, look, you know, some cool stuff coming on here. Um, thanks for your patience with, with getting this together. Really happy with the outcome so far. So um, stay tuned. I'm, I'm hoping, as I said, about two weeks where we can launch this live and uh, we'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks, guys.